Alright guys, and today we are going to be leveling up our Sasabi to custom 11. So I do want to obviously kind of quickly cover that as far as how much of an improvement we are looking at. So I think the best time to use Sasabi is definitely an event like this time around with the mission battle when we have multiple enemy. It's pretty much where Sasabi or any of these units that loves to dodge and then gain damage is essentially, you know, the, the best utility for them is those types of events. Like even Arena for example, Technically, is their best environment, but obviously in the arena, you just have units that are able to um, inflict an avoidable status or other means where this unit, you know, becomes uh, defenseless, right? Uh, but in, in, in terms of PvE content, it's surely going to work really good. So I think at this point in time, you guys should be seeing kind of like a footage of this unit before custom level 11. So you guys can kind of see uh, how much of a damage we were able to do and then how much enemy we were able to take down. So I think with that said, let's actually get this unit to custom level 11. So as always, every level after custom level 10 is going to cost you 1210 of the custom level or the UR ticket. So it's definitely quite pricey. So if you, once we get to like JP level, where right now we are custom level 18, uh, these tickets are going to drain extremely fast. Uh, but right now we can uh, definitely spare some because I do plan to put it on Sasabi and then for the full arm unicorn because these three thus far right now has been my main stable in you know in terms of just anything right now so i uh, obviously don't really mind you know leveling them but i think one thing i forgot to check is actually you know some of these uh, weapon tree and stuff uh because whenever you level up these units and like in terms of the levels like the custom level whatever these weapon power actually gets stronger as well so I don't think the beam saber originally was SS minus. I think it was only an S plus or something like that. So we definitely gain a substantial amount right there. But beam saber is probably going to be the least you ever see in this game, just because of how this unit kind of functions and whatnot. But in terms of the beam shot rifle and then the funnel, I think they will definitely be doing you know a solid amount of damage right now. So let's actually quickly hop into the mission battle once again and see how much better we are able to do now. I'll probably show you guys maybe like the last 30 seconds because if you guys do know, the mission battle takes about three minutes three minutes to complete. Even on three times speed, it's gonna take a hot minute. So I'm gonna show you guys the last 30 seconds so you guys can see you know approximately where we are at after the custom level 11. All right, so we are approaching the last 30 seconds, but you guys can see Sasabi is out here just frying through all these enemies. So EX skills why we were able to just execute a lot because this kit does allow you to gain EX skill or yeah, the EX skill gauge back and whatever you dodge so i think we definitely did a lot more um so that was like pretty amazing so obviously in a content where you face multiple enemy like this i think this is where the sasabi is gonna shine when the enemy is chasing you but there are definitely situation when you are fighting one target or whatever uh is not going to perform as much so i think that's why this is definitely the perfect time to showcase off this unit because otherwise i don't know what kind of content where i can you know effectively quote unquote show you guys this the damage portion uh, but so far i think i want to say we did 8 million previously and then now we did 9 million so we were definitely able to take down more enemy in you know in, in in comparison so after this one we will definitely go into the real world where it's the arena time so we can see you know supposedly you know how much better we are able to do there as well All right, so we are in our first arena match, and then all, all I'm seeing is uh, blue, red, and purple. So I do assume this one should be a pretty quick match to finish through. So usually my setup is something like this. Um, I think this should be fine. So I'm just going to quickly do one time speed, put on Sasabi, and probably minimize this. So we can take a look at the damage before afterwards, so we do know what's going on. Uh, I think so. Wow, I'm surprised everyone went down already. That is a shocker. Um, like, can Sasabi even do something for us over here? Maybe? Like, alright, use the funnels. Oh, who are we? Oh, yeah, we got the Kasatria. Oh, yeah, that's not that's not the most perfect unit to go up against because uh, it got the stuns or whatever. It, it has a lot of evasion as well. So, I'm quite surprised we actually lost in that one. Uh, maybe I think 
In terms of bar lineup, we just have a lot of unit that was not able to inflict an avoidable status, which I think especially like the enemy whole team has that. So let's kind of see. Oh, Zaku too. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I don't know if Zaku too is already. I feel like yesterday I have similar problem as well, where you know the Sasabi was or no the the Zaku too was just you know for whatever reason was just overwhelming me. But but it was like this, literally like that. So I don't know what really what really ran down right there. But uh, you guys can see. In terms of real world situation, Sasabi, like, you know, in, in this instance, just couldn't perform as, as good because uh, we just have uh, numerous reasons where our attacks was not going through because the enemy was dodging, whatever. So, not the first match, right? Not the good first match right there, but let's kind of keep going then. Alright, so this should be a fun match number two. So they went for kind of like a house structure build. Uh, I do see that a fully maxed out has double state over there. So let's kind of see how I want to construct the team. I think we will just go with something like this actually. Get to do that. And then I will put in. I'm, I think I'll just do this. Would this even work? um i think we can definitely give it a try i think the you know what we will just do this yep we will just kind of do something like this instead uh i'm not gonna be playing playing any games out here just gonna do that um it's kind of like it's it's kind of hard for me to see how i want to structure that actually so my Mega is definitely trying to take down that GPO too because I, I do deem it as pretty annoying if we do let it live for a little bit longer because it could definitely nuke us out of the out of the battle. So that's why I did that. All right, so that was pretty successful. Um, it it looks intimidating. All right, that team for sure looks really you know tough and whatnot. But uh, I'm glad we were able to beat it. So let's kind of see how we did here. All right, so this wow, Sasabi kind of did nothing in this one. Let's kind of see what's going on. Um, all right, so GPO 2 right there. Not, oh, I assume the match just went by too fast where, you know, the, we, we just couldn't do anything. So that's kind of unfortunate. All right, so this around we are facing against an enemy that has the Hakashiki. So our main goal is definitely trying to break to that um, defensive lineup right there. So four, literally three tanks. Okay, that's surely that should be fun. So I'm just gonna go with this direction out here and then we will kind of hope for the best. I don't know. Um, let's kind of see, like, because Hakashiki can effectively just make Sasabi defenseless because of the uh, unavoidable status. So let's kind of see. Uh, yeah, it's definitely hitting Sasabi already. Yep. We lost right there. <laughs> we kind of just took an L. Um, let's kind of see. Let's kind of hone in on maybe um, our full orb unicorn and see if we can kind of clutch things up. All right, we took down GPO two. We we'll definitely we we'll, we'll definitely take that. Get yeah, another EXQ going on. Okay, perfect. And then we took L. What was it? Oh, now we have our uh, Zaku three. Saku 3's uh, Saku 3 custom was uh, definitely pretty annoying because it heals every time he does damage so that's why it took us a little bit longer but let's kind of see what took out the Sasabi this time around I feel like we got the unavoidable status going on so that's why we just couldn't do much all right yeah we got Zeta we have full armor unicorn definitely carry our way through so yeah I think for let's see let's see how Sasabi died in this one I think we got hit okay Probably just the Zaku one with the big gun. I was low HP like right away. Okay. <laughs> that was unfortunate. So, oh yeah, it was Hakashiki that down. That's Sasabi. Okay. Let's move on to the next one then. Alright, so in this setup, I'm gonna throw my double Seda under the bus because I do see the blue death in the unit 1. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can bait, let's say, blue death in the unit 1 into hitting a double Seda instead because uh, double Seda is a new type of machine as well. So that's why we want to see would that even work. Um, as far as our lineup, let's just kind of do this and then 
All right, I think that should probably work. Yeah. So I think Blue Destiny you want is definitely gonna get into Double Zeta first, and then we will see. <laughs> we will see if that works. All right, let's just do this real quick, and let's see who took the bait. Ah. Uh... It still targets Zeta. I think it's the type advantage. So I think it goes for the type advantage first, then it goes into whatever other unit out there that are, that are uh, what is it, a new type. Um, but can we make it? I don't think so. Nope, we lost. Um, I think it was the fact that we took way too much damage from uh, Hakashiki. Simplest way I can put it. Okay, so Sasabi actually did pretty good in this setup, but. Uh, unfortunately, we still did not come up top. That's you know, it, it is what it is. But other than that, it definitely show you guys uh, two different perspective as far as uh, where Sasabi is uh, intended to be, as far as how good it could be in just general PVE content. But as far as uh, arena wise, I think there's definitely uh, more work that needs to be done for Sasabi, especially on the evasion and just you know the survivability aspect of things. Uh, but other than that, that's gonna be pretty much it, and I'll be catching you guys on on the next one.